Millions of cars with this popular feature are now in question. And our Scripps National Investigative Team already been digging into this issue for quite some time now. That's right. National Investigative Correspondent Mark Greenblatt has this exclusive report from Washington. He was a huge part of my life. He, he became more than my dad. He was, he was my best friend, you know. Ray Harrington loved marathons and mentoring others, but that all came to an end after a simple drive home. I received a phone call from my aunt. She said, I don't know how to tell you this, but your dad is gone. Harrington was found dead in his North Carolina condo. Police say he inadvertently left his keyless ignition car running. Carbon monoxide and odorless, colorless gas seeped from his garage throughout his home, killing the university professor in his sleep. And this isn't an isolated case. Three months prior, in December of 2011, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration declared a clear safety problem from keyless ignition cars after receiving numerous consumer complaints. With a traditional key, when you take it with you out of a car, you always know that your engine is off. But with keyless ignition, when you walk away with your fob, your car can still be running, whether you're 10 feet or 10 miles away. And if the car is running in the garage, well, that can turn fatal. I heard her, you know, collapse. When 29 year old Chastity Glisson left her Lexus running in her Florida garage, her boyfriend Tim Maddock, who was injured, watched her suffer first before she died, also from carbon monoxide poisoning. I, I put her head on my lap, and, you know, her eyes were rolling in the back of her head, you know, something that you've never seen before. NHTSA proposed new safety measures with what it called minimal costs to industry, but automakers balked. And now, nearly four years later, the number of carbon monoxide deaths linked to keyless ignition has increased to at least 13. For years, safety advocates have insisted the solution is an auto shutoff for keyless cars. Attorney Noah Kuschlevsky agrees. You're talking about just reprogramming some software. That's right. Uh, vehicles already have all of the technology that they need to solve these problems. Kuschlevsky sued Toyota three times, suggesting auto shutoffs as one option that could prevent deaths or injury. Toyota settled each case confidentially. Scripps reached out to 12 automakers and asked if they're implementing auto shutoffs. Only Chrysler answered that question directly, saying their cars will not shut off if the driver walks away with the fob. Adding, customers are urged to follow the shutoff instructions. Other manufacturers responded that they currently meet federal safety standards, but updates to those rules have languished. The agency charged with keeping you safe has yet to act after nearly four years. NHTSA told us it needs to take its time to make the safest and correct rule, pushing their final ruling to February 2016. Every death today could be prevented. And that's at the heart of a class action lawsuit filed on behalf of millions of drivers who own or lease keyless ignition vehicles. This is a very real present danger that needs to be addressed now, which is why we brought this lawsuit. We'll have more from that exclusive interview with the lawyer leading the charge in my next report. Mark Greenblatt for the Scripps National Bureau in Washington.